Hello, hello. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back. Still working in the Waterfall Journal. We can see an end to the project. Actually, not yet. So, today we're going to work on the cover a little bit. I'm not going to over-decorate it, but I am going to do something to it. Oh get this thing glued down to that paper or something. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so um, I'll talk about this later. So I've got my spine in here and I used a big punch. I used my fat punch. Don't use your fat punch. All. It's an all. A-W-L. Um, but I need to cover this. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to cover it with this. This is a stretchy stuff, but we're going to use it. But first, I'm going to put this on, on both sides. Why, you may ask. Go ahead, ask why, why, why. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. No. Um, the reason is, is because this will glue over, but it still needed something hanging down here on the front. So that's why. Front or back? Ooh, that's the back. A lot of times you can, well, let's see. Yes. Because look how dull the back side is. I don't know if you can tell that, but this side has got some shimmer to it over here. And this side is dull. So that's the front. So first I'm going to attach this one. And I'm going to be using a Fabri-Tac to do that. I'm going to put those over there. I'm going to have a sip of my cola. Cheers. That was not a Coke commercial. <laughs> that's just me having a cola. That's soda pop. I like to call them sodas. But most people around here call them pop or by their name. But I just like to call them soda. I want a soda. I'm going to smooth that down a little bit. As always, she's smoothing down the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put glue across the top there. We're going to put the other lace on there, but um, I just want it to be... Now I can't figure it out. I don't think it matters. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm just going to kind of put this evenly here. What I mean by that is I'm going to... I want to start this right along that edge. Okay, so I'm... This is part of a scallop and there's part. So they're even. Even, even. Is it even, even? Sure, it's even, even. Okay. Front or back? Ah, that's the front. Sometimes you look at them and you're like, yep, that's the front. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. So I have the signature all sewn in. And actually, you were with me to begin with. And then I just totally stopped talking. It was a silent film. Um, I was deep, 
deep in thought before I realized that you guys weren't with that I wasn't with you any longer that I was far far away been a long time since I've been that deep in thought that I was just lost in time <laughs> crazy it felt crazy but it's got a lot on my mind these days dealing with a lot of stuff right now okay so now we have that on each side of that spine and we probably should glue this down just a little bit better so I think what I'll do is run it along the uh, lacy part here Right there. That'll just glue it nicely to the, the book, to the cover. Just going to pat it down. I'm gonna pat you down. There we go. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing over here. And I think I put it on backwards. I did. I sure did. Let's see if I can peel it off and cut a new one. Go slow, Angie. Sorry about that, guys. I could tell it was backwards as soon as I looked at it. Isn't that funny? Here I was trying so hard to make sure it was right, and I was wrong. Okay. So I need half of that. So just go down to here. Extra little pieces will go into the snippet bin. It'll be fine. That's the front. Okay. Stay with me, front. <laughs> Don't don't eliminate yourself now. Okay. Swoosh that down. Now be sure. That looks like the back to me. And that looks like the front. So that's what we're going with. kinds of stuff on my desk here. Alright. Very pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. All right. Now we'll need to cut these extras off. So we're going to just open this up. I might have to get my fabric scissors out because. 
Please, we're not willing to cut it. Just want to get them right in there along the edge. Right there, right along the edge. We're almost done with this, really. Really, there's not much more to do. I really thought I had some more purple. <laughs> Lace and stuff, but I guess I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I did that, but I did. Like I was telling Robin, I just buy so much pink. I forget to buy other colors because I just fall in love with the pink colors. And you know, you can't use pink all the time. Well, I, I probably could, but I don't want to. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to apply this piece over the top like this and we want to keep these fairly even too so we want to figure out where the center line is on this it's right about there I think this stuff is what they make slips out of. You know, the little stuff that goes on your slip. Does anybody know what a slip is anymore? Well, I still wear one when I wear a dress because I don't like my dress inching up. So I do still wear one if I wear a dress. Yeah, just like that. Okay, let's do that. Hope I can get it back on there. So we'll start with the center. Gonna just glue that. Um, spine right down, aren't we? The book will probably never open now. What? She glued the book closed? Yep. Completely closed. She was having a moment. Oh, yeah. That is definitely... the side we want to look at. Don't want it crooked. I'm not patting it down yet. It's still sticking, but I want to be sure that it's fairly even so that you can't look at it and say, oh my gosh, she made a gigantic mistake. How did that girl learn to glue? So I'm going to open this up and we're going to come through just like before. I'm just going to run some down here too. that. That's what it looks like so far. hope I've been in camera. I'm on camera now. <laughs> can you see me now? Oh yes, yes we can. You're a little close but we can see you. 
in the sunrise. Ooh, that one showed through. That was not what I wanted. Oh well. I'm going to clip that off down there anyway. See, now this side looks a little bit crooked to me. Must be the way the book is made. Somebody made it that way. I don't know who did it. Do you? It can't be me. It can't. Okay, it is. It's me. I did it. <clears throat> yeah, there's a little bendy in the book there, and that's popping it up and making it look a little bit crooked. But I think it will do. Okay, back to here. I forgot to set the timer. I'm so sorry. Guess I'm going to hang on to you for a little bit. We'll finish up the cover. And then I want to show you what's going to happen with the closure. But I don't really want to apply the closure until... Um, oh, look at that. I shouldn't be bending that until it dries. But I need to cut that off because I need to look at it. Oh my goodness. One thing about a waterfall journal, it's uh, not as maneuverable as you might think. You can't just flop it on its back or its front. Well, you can flop it on its front, but you can't just flop it on its back. Well, you can, but see, it's just weird, but I like it. Okay, now, if we wanted to, we could add some of this or some of this on there, like that. That would be pretty. Overkill? I don't know. Hard for me to tell when it comes to ribbon. I have a bunch of this. I'm going to actually be selling from my drawer of shame. I'm going to be putting stuff on Etsy. I have so much stuff to put on Etsy. I used to do rosaries and um, jewelry and stuff. They have a lot of beads that need to um, go to somebody else's bead bin for a while. Well, for however long. I don't want them back. <laughs> okay. I kind of like that because it kind of matches the book. Let me look at this other one that I really wanted to use. Now, could we use it? Or is it overkill? It's overkill. Nope, you're not using it, Angela. Okay, let me look here one more time. I kind of like that. It's kind of pretty. Kind of hides some of the gluey bits. And we have this one. Now, when this one is on there, you can see that it's not quite even. 
and when this one's on there you cannot tell. I cannot tell a lie. So in that respect, that's kind of nice to put that on there because you can't tell that that's on there crooked. Oh, I thought my husband was gone. I just heard him. I hope it was him sneeze. Sound like his sneeze. Yep, it's him. It's the hubby. Should we come back to that? I have to think about it. I mean, when you look at it just this way, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, so the closure that I wanted to talk to you about. Let me find my pen for my glue. Um, is this cute little, like, sweater closure? When I made mini albums, I used a lot of stuff like this for closures. And like I, I don't know if I said it already, but I'm going to attempt to hand sew that on. It sews on like a button. So come down here, I'll show you. Whoops, not that close. It's looking at my hand. So it sews on like a button. One, two, three, four. The thing is, is I need to wait until we put the stuff in it, the pockets and everything, so that I know the exact placement of this one with this ribbon. Like, you know, we'll be able to squish it down and make it fit, but if it gets too bulky and we have it too short, then we have to cut it all off and start over again. And I don't want to do that once I sew it down. So that is why I ran this ribbon through here and put the second top on it was because I wanted this totally secure so that it's not moving. And so when the buckle's on it, it's permanent and it works well. So next thing we want to look at, okay, here we are. I wondered if we wanted to put these on it. Oh my goodness. These on the front and back corners. Like that. All right, honey. See you in a little bit. Say hi to everybody. Hi. It wouldn't go on each of them. I mean, it's a good idea, but it couldn't because we have pockets and stuff going in there. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or if I want to go through and round all the corners. But then I'd have to round all the paper too. All of it. Yeah, I don't know. That might be, that might not look right on a waterfall journal but it does make it really nice for the these outer corners but the other ones show too so you know it's not going to make that much difference okay let's scooch let's scooch you out a little bit so there and there. Oh, I think it's overkill. It is for this journal. You might get away with, you know, something like this on it, where it's just sitting on the front. I like that. And here's another one. Like that. So you might get away with that. 
that doesn't look too bad. Those just get glued on the top. So that looks kind of cool actually. It goes with the lace. Do I have any other ones like that? Oh yeah, I have all kinds. So what if we did that? Oh, I like the bigger one, don't you? What's this one? That's a big one. That's a little one. This is one of these. If we have a door, we could use that. I don't think I can put two of those there. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. But I think that's overkill too. Because we got the lace there, we don't need that lace, lacy metal on top of that, do we? Those are all the same. Let's see a musical note. A musical note. That goes somewhere else. Okay. That I actually like. So, what do you think? Let me get it squished in there right. don't know. kind of like it. And that doesn't go around to the other side. You can't always get what you want. Mm -hmm. Is that one the same size? Looks smaller, but you no, know, they're exactly the same size. <clears throat> you know what I'm afraid of? Is I'll glue it down and it won't stay. It should, but I'm afraid it won't. But I do like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe it's just a little too much. Okay, so that's my thoughts. Um, I think I'll put those away for a minute and I'll have to think about them. But we do need a bulb pin if we have one in here, and we do. Need one of these. I think this gold is okay. I Oh, I have some rose gold ones somewhere. I wonder where I put them. Oh gosh. Who knows. That's going to go in here because we have to put some on. I must have some flowers or something I could put on it. There we go. I think I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to thicken this one up. It's just a little too thinsy. Thinsy minzy. Probably should have put a thumb notch in that one. So let's take a quick look at it before I say goodbye for the day. Oh, I guess it's dry enough. So we need to put something in there. This is a fold out. Some pages. We have our fold out here with lots of journaling area. Pages. 
we have our lavender farm envelope here with journaling area and we have a big envelope here and pages we have our chalk paint stencil there and it looks even cool on the back I love it then we have just a trim on this one and you could still write there this is our center page lots of writing space on this one and then we have our trim here with more writing area the other half of our stenciled chalk paint <laughs> this paper tore when I was putting it in so when I tore the edge I mean and so I put it um, put that on it and this one I just thought it looked better with a little bit of purple on it and a hat and there's a beautiful page here's our other pocket with our butterfly sticking out and our other bank envelope and some more pages Oh my gosh, have I been off again? In there. Here, our other door. Little painting by Angela. And another coffee dyed paper. and a little tuck spot so what do you think I think we're going to need to put some little things on these we have little things we have something little but I don't want to take up all your time today but look at look at this Look how pretty that is. We could put that there. We could put it here. We could put it here. Um, some of these I thought we would use to make some pockets on the bigger pages. That one's not big enough like here I think this would be a good pocket here because really this is just part of the window down here and I think a pocket would look good look at that one it's almost a pocket that's hidden yeah very pretty so when we come back we will be adding some pockets and some little pieces of ephemera in here just for um, picture's sake, just for page turners. And that should be, it won't be tomorrow. I have a medical appointment tomorrow and anyway. I, if I have to tell you about it, I will. Here's some. Look at that. That's just so pretty. Now this would be perfect up on one of these beginning pages where there's just not a lot of space. But there's like a little room for that, isn't there? And the other thing that would go with that would be like one of these... Hairs or something. Not that square. Oh, look a tuck. How cute is that? Let's put that in as a tuck. 
I love it. We have a tuck. And then we'll put something in there that they can write on. Oh, how cute. Too big. Well, we'll put something in there that'll be really cute. Or maybe it won't be cute. Maybe we'll just put it in there for fun. But yeah, that one was perfect for there, I think. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Okay, well, I'm going to put this one here and then I'm, I promise I'm going to let you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oops. Yeah. I'm smushing this down because, as we know, it starts showing through on this avocado dyed paper. You might have to put something right on the other side. There, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so sweet. The door. And let's see. That would actually make another good tuck if we backed it. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. And thanks for hanging out with me while I <laughs> did this cover. And I'll bring you back um, maybe tomorrow afternoon after I get back. And, um, well, it's going to be late. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe Wednesday. We'll see how it's going. Anyway, I'll bring you back and we'll make some, decorate some more pages. And hopefully we'll get our cards inserted. And, I, and then we can put this on together. So we can see if it will work. And if it doesn't, well, we'll do something different. How's that sound? Okay, well, thanks for joining me today. And I hope you all had uh, an enjoyable time here with me today. And I'll be back another time with another idea soon. Bye.